complex motion can be derived from fairly simple code instructions. Here we have a self-driving car that avoids crashing into obstacles. Let's see how it works. The self-driving car has a single engine which powers the right front wheel. The chassis of the car is built to include a clever changeover mechanism. I have previously covered changeover mechanisms in my video on the Lunar Rover. I will provide a link in the description below. Basically, changeover mechanisms allow a single input, in this case the motor, to give two very distinct outputs, in this case driving straight forward or driving backward and turning. How does the changeover mechanism work here? Let's look closely. The front end of the self-driving car can twist slightly. When the motor turns counterclockwise, the front end tries to twist counterclockwise, but the transparent blue slope piece won't allow it. Thus, the front wheels are parallel to the back wheels and the vehicle moves forward in a straight line. When the motor turns clockwise, the front end tries to rotate clockwise and it does turn slightly. Now the front wheels are at an angle compared to the back wheels. So when the vehicle moves backward, it also turns. We can use the simple idea to create a vehicle that avoids obstacles. Let's do it in four easy steps. Step one, let's make a simple code to have the vehicle drive forward. Step two, let's keep the code from step one, but add to it. Let's include a wait for block where the distance sensor detects an object getting closer and then have the motor stop. When you run the code for step two, it should behave like this. Step three, let's tell the vehicle to drive backwards and turn. What do you need to add to the code to make it behave like this? Step four. All right, let's tell the vehicle to not only drive backwards, but to do it for a short time so it doesn't crash into anything when backing up. I'll let you determine how small a number to use. And then finally, let's put the entire code in an infinite loop. When you put it all together, the self-driving car behaves like this. Now I have a question for you. What would happen if you switched the transparent blue piece to the other side of the vehicle? How would that affect the behavior of the self-driving car? Would you need to adjust your code in any way? You can test it to find out. Are there any other ways to make the self-driving car operate? Show me. Enjoy building and testing your self-driving car. Bye-bye.